Hey everybody, Zach here. So I wanted to make this video to go over all of the rumors regarding the upcoming Kamen Rider, uh, Kamen Rider Revice. So first, to go over all of the pretty much confirmed information, uh, basically all we have 100% so far is the name, which is, uh, we know it because Toei trademarked it, and of course Kamen Rider Revice. Uh, now, a couple days ago, as of the time of this recording, they released a new poster for the Superhero Senki movie. And at the very top of the poster, we have these two uh, never-before-seen characters that certainly appear to be common Riders, which we've had two images come out now, and I've composited them together here. Uh, most people are speculating that this is common Rider Revice and the secondary writer of the Revice series. And I have to agree with that. I'm like 90% sure this is Revice and his secondary. But I am still holding a small degree of uncertainty, which I will get into why a bit later. Uh, we also have a couple of toy listings that have come out. But it's uh, so far, it's just the Gashapon and Candy toy listings so far. Uh, they are very vague, like they have been the past couple years. Uh, and it, it honestly tells us very little. Um, I will, uh, I'm, I'm not going to go over the whole list, but I will just go over the parts that tell us anything at all. Uh, so the Gashapon list, it has listed six roleplay items. Uh, now that could be anything really, you know, it could be drivers or weapons, uh, maybe even the bike. Uh, I'm not sure if they put the bike in Gashapon or not, but, uh, Oddly, the Gashapon listing does not have any of the uh, link items or uh, gimmick items, as they're more often called. But yeah, it doesn't list any of those at all. But the candy toy list, it does have a listing for link items, but it only lists uh, as having four of them. Uh, which is a very small amount, uh, you know, especially when you consider that, you know, the past few seasons have like easily gone into you know well into the double digits of on link items in the first quarter but uh yeah according to the candy toy listing uh you know it's saying only four link items for revas's first quarter um which i, I kind of have a theory on why that might be which again i'll get into a little bit later when we get into the speculation but um you know, a lot, a lot of people are thinking that, you know, uh, Link items might only be in the candy toys and not in the Gashapon because, you know, maybe they're too big to fit in the Gashapon capsules. Uh, which, you know, Zero One and Saber have, uh, the Pro S Keys and Wonder Ride books have also been too big to fit in the Gashapon capsules. But they were able to, um basically split them in half uh, and kind of separate them and put them in the Gashapon capsule that way. So it, basically when you take them out of the Gashapon capsule, the, the Gashapon version is some assembly required. Uh, and apparently it's seeming like that for whatever reason, whatever Revice's uh, link item is, they just were not able to do that with it. Uh, moving on, uh, that, that's literally all the confirmed info we have so far. Um, now, uh, now I'll move on to just the rumors. Um, and for those who don't know, Common Rider rumors uh, usually come through websites that are pretty much anonymous forums. It's mainly this website called 5cha, which is, I guess you could say it's like a Japanese equivalent of 4chan. And, like, I'd say, like, 8 out of 10 times when th something comes through uh, 5cha, you can probably guess that it's probably just made up. There, there are certainly people on there and other websites that, you know, they get a laugh out of, you know, making up common Rider rumors and spreading them around and seeing if they can get other people to believe them and also spread them around. But, um, you know, every now and then, uh, through these websites, there does end up being some, uh, legitimate information. Um, 
Now, I'm not really going to go over the rumors for Revice that have already been debunked because there's not really any reason to. Uh, but I will give an example of just, you know, one of the made up rumors that has already been debunked. Uh, there was very early on a rumor that the name of next season was going to be Common Rider Victory and it was going to be a sports themed Common Rider. And of course that got debunked when the Revice name was trademarked. But, um... But we, we, there are some uh, older rumors, though, uh, that, you know, we, they're still they're still not quite uh, disproven yet. Like, uh, there are... Sorry, I'm, I'm looking through my notes here. Uh, But uh, yeah, usually when we're coming up on a new season of Rider, some anonymous person or people uh, will post like little one or two word hints on Fivecha about the upcoming series. Uh, now, of course, with it being anonymous, we don't know, you know, if it's always the same person uh, or, you know, if it's someone posting fake hints, but in the same style. But, um, but yeah, before I read these out, I will ask you, you know, just keep in mind that some, if not all of them, may end up being fake, but there, on the other hand, there is always the chance that some of them could be real. Okay, so here are the hints that were posted. Monster Rider. Butler and Master. Cards. And Japanese Map Symbols. Now, again, these are old, older hints. They predate the Revice trademark, and I think they predate even that Common Rider Victory rumor that was disproven. But, uh, you know, these are still kind of holding on for the time being uh, until we find out more details about the series. Uh, but there's been other rumors and other evidence that has came out that kind of supports that at least some of them might be legitimate. Um, now, of course, you know, there's this poster that has who we think is Revice on it. Uh, and, you know, uh, if that was the case, I would kind of assume that one of the hints might have said something about dinosaurs. But again, we don't really know what the context is. Um, and for that matter, you know, just because Revice himself might be T-Rex themed... That doesn't necessarily mean that the whole series is dinosaur themed. Um, or, you know, the hint may not even be referring to the theme of the series, like, as a whole, like its motif. You know, like, the term, you know, using Monster Rider as the term, you know, that may just be saying that, like, maybe it's a Kamen Rider Fies situation where the person who transforms into the Rider can also transform into a monster. And, but also, I mean, just looking at, you know, this writer who we believe is Revice on the poster, he does look very monsterish. I mean, you know, and people like people, a lot of people pointed out, you know, with his eyes and, you know, his mouth, the way it is, it, he looks a lot, it makes him look a lot like uh, Venom from Spider-Man. Now, another big rumor that came out uh, was a description of... Not one, but two new writers that uh, this person saw, um, which just came out a, a little bit after the Revice trademark, but it, it was well before this poster was, was released by at least a couple weeks. I, I don't remember how long exactly. But uh, now to clarify, um, the person who put this rumor out there, uh, you know, he, di he did not do so anonymously. Well, you know, other than just having a internet username. But yeah, he put this out on his YouTube channel. Um, now, because of the context, we're kind of talking about it in here. I don't want to just, you know, say his whole username because I, you know, kind of want to put like a little bit of, 
you know, a, a barrier for protection, I guess. Uh, so we're, we're just going to give him a little bit of an alias, uh, and we're just going to, we're going to call him Joe. Uh, and if you're in the community and know who I'm talking about, then you'll know. And yeah, yeah, this is a, this is a very, this person is a very, uh, reputable source of information. He, we don't know how he knows what he knows, but that's not really important for our purposes. Uh, it's just what's important is what he has known in the past has somehow been right before. And, you know, he has no reason to make something up or lie. He, he has this reputation of having legitimate information. But, um... Uh, yeah, so Joe claims that he somehow saw these two new common writers that are going to be in Revice, uh, which and he believed that one of them was in fact Revice himself, uh, and he gave a pretty detailed description. Uh, now I will say that this description was of course given in Japanese, which I unfortunately don't understand. Uh, so I'm having to rely on other people's translations and auto translation software and things like that. Uh, which, there's been a few different translations of Joe's description going around, uh, and some some of them are slightly different. There there seems to be a few mistranslations going around, but um, the the one that Joe f believes is Revice, uh, he said its helmet has red compound eyes a white mouth that looks like fangs, and then there's something about a, a V-shape on the helmet, or the helmet being V-shaped, and that the rider had a T-Rex theme. And, well, just from that, Joe pretty much perfectly describes this rider who's on the poster here. Uh, and he also said that this rider had a T-Rex emblem on the left side of his chest, which we really can't see on this poster, uh, his arms kind of blocking it there. Um, but Joe also went on to describe the uh, driver, and he said that it was purple with red accents. It had a display screen on one slide and a slot for the link item on the other side. Which, we can't see the entire driver on the poster, but for what we can see, Joe's description lines up with it as well. So, it, he... Joe's description so far is pretty spot on. Uh, and which, again, we can't see the link item on the poster, but according to Joe, it is a stamp, like a passport stamp or like one of those legal stamps. Um, which, I mean, this is this is just me uh, speculating, but that, that kind of lines up with the hint about the Japanese map symbols. Um, if, if that's what that hint intended to say. But uh, Joe, Joe goes on to say that these stamps are a pretty sizable link item. Like, he, um, comparisons were made to, like, the Rabbit Tank Sparkling Can from Build. Um, or at least, like, the base of the stamp is that wide, he said. Um, it, it, he said it did, it did, no, excuse me, I can't talk. He said that it did get thinner as it went up. Uh, he kind of described it as, like, uh, kind of like a coffee cup but upside down. But, yeah, so, I mean, we can't see the link item on the driver, but everything else about Joe's description lines up perfectly with this rider that we're now seeing in the poster. But then here's where things get confusing. Because Joe also described the suit's colors, but he said that the suit he saw was mostly orange and green with some purple. And as we can see, this writer on the poster is pretty clearly pink and blue with some purple. Uh, which Joe has uh, made an update video since the poster came out. And in it, he said that, yes, the pink and blue writer on the poster is the same writer that he saw but he's also just as confused as everyone else on why the colors are different. Uh, he, he also uh, said that the second writer on the poster uh, is a character that he has never seen before. 
So there's a lot of speculation around why the different colors. Uh, and Joe obviously got it very close. And close enough that I don't think he's, you know, he got it too close to be making this up or be lying about it. So there, there's just something off about, you know, either what he saw or what's on this poster. Um, you know, and I, it, like, it's possible, like, again, we don't know, we don't know the context of how he saw what he saw. Uh, you know, he, it, maybe he just saw it in weird lighting that messed with the colors. Maybe he saw concept art that didn't have the final colors. It, it could be any number of scenarios as to why the colors look different. Uh... Or, you know, some people have pointed out that the this poster, it, it does have a little bit of a color tint to it. Uh, which, that that's normal for movie posters. You know, you, you put, like, you know, a little bit of a warmer tint over it to kind of make the colors pop more. Make it more appealing to the eye. And, uh, this, this section of the poster that we're zoomed on here... This is a very small portion of the poster, so some people are thinking that, you know, this this is such a small portion of the poster that, yeah, maybe having just this tint is enough to, you know, maybe make orange look pink, or, and green, or kind of a darker teal, you know, maybe make it look blue. It could be any number of scenarios. But, um, looking through the notes again, um, but, uh, yeah, which if you, uh, if you run the poster through, uh, color correction software, it, it does try to remove the tint. And when it does that, uh, this writer who we think is revised, uh, he, you know, his, it does kind of fade his colors a bit to where you could kind of maybe think that the pink is, it could look orange and the blue could look green. Uh, but it, I don't know. It's still, it's still pretty clearly pink and blue to me. Um, of course there is the fact that this poster, you know, this isn't a photograph. It's an artist rendering. There could have been something wrong with, you know, the photo that the artist was working on. You know, um, maybe, you know, just weird lighting. I mean, shoot, maybe, maybe they sent them a, a picture through a fax or something and it, like, faded on their printer. I mean, it, it could be any number of weird scenarios. As I've said. But, um... Now, there is the possibility that what Joe saw isn't Revice's base form, which I, I do believe he clarified that himself in his original video, saying that he was fairly sure it was Revice, but not certain if it was his base form or not. Uh, but, it, I mean, just to my thinking, it would be very weird for a modern common Rider to have... Two different forms that are literally just color swaps of each other. Which, uh, yeah, I know we did j just have that with literally Saber's final form just, you know, weeks ago. But that, that's kind of an exception, not the rule. You know, if, it, if it's just like a regular form change, you would definitely expect, like, at least the motif to change. It's like, it's not just the... It's a recolor. It, you know, they're from the description. It sounds like they're both T-Rex themed. But um, now for the second writer, uh, speaking of T-Rex themes, that uh, the second writer that Joe saw, um, it that gets a bit more interesting. He describes uh, its suit as being almost completely black, but he does th say that it has like some orange here and there. And the helmet he described just sounds bizarre. Uh, he said it looks like a lifelike T-Rex head with an open mouth 
and inside the mouth you can see a pair of green compound eyes uh, which you know it's just kind of a bizarre sounding description uh, but um, some, some comparisons were drawn to um, the Dragonite Hunter suit from X-Aid where it has like the kind of the dragon head as the I guess hood um, and um, Joe also made a point to say that this second rider did not have a driver instead he just had a belt buckle uh, but that he also had the same T-Rex symbol as uh, Revice on the left side of his chest but that the symbol was mirrored from what Revice's is. And again, it's, it's unclear how Joe knows what he knows, but according to him, this second character is somehow connected to or part of the orange and green revices transformation uh but he, he wasn't it didn't sound like he was really certain how to explain it uh at the time he described it as like a reverse of common rider double uh and that that's kind of left people speculating as to like okay is it like a beat buster and stag buster type thing where you know one person uses the transformation device and it causes two people to transform? Or is it like a XA Mighty Brothers double X thing where one person transforms and then splits into two bodies? Which, with the poster revealing, the uh, that kind of makes the second option seem more likely. Because, you know, if, if you had two characters like two people that were kind of playing this equal main writer role you would kind of expect them both to be on the poster so just based on that it is kind of seeming like this second writer uh might be kind of uh i guess like a summoned creature or something like that like so, something that is subservient to the Revice Rider, which, going back to the hints, that kind of supports the one that talks about a Master and Butler theme. Uh, which, you know, and with this second character, you know, it kind of sounds like he might be more beastly. Uh, that may also support the hint about a Monster Rider. And furthermore, if Revice's form changes also change the appearance of this second body as well as himself, uh, but, you know, say the second body changes more drastically, then I could see then maybe, yeah, maybe Revice's form changes are just color swaps of each other, while the more drastic changes are happening to the second body because, you know, maybe it's the one that fights more or something. You know, uh, th this may be an interesting season. But uh, again, as I think of that, uh, you know, I you know I just keep going back to if the pink and blue revise and the orange and green revise are different forms of each other, I, I would still really expect them to be have different animal motifs uh, instead of both of them just being T Rexes. Um, I I guess one possible other explanation is it could be like an X-Aid and Ginnem situation where you know it's just it's two writers two different separate writers that are just intended to be color swaps of each other you know like an evil twin situation uh, I mean which you know Revice it's already dealing with dinosaurs and whatever Revice actually ends up meaning within the series you know and it could be like you know as some people have speculated a revival device or a you know a genetic revision device you know, all of it all of it just kind of screams Jurassic Park and you know I don't think involving clones would really be out of the question but I mean I'm getting deep into speculation there or 
Or, uh, another possible explanation, the orange and green revise that Joe described, maybe that's actually a revise, and the pink and blue one that's in the poster, you know, cause, I mean, like I say, that hasn't been confirmed to be revised yet. There's a chance that it's like a, a proto revise or something, like, um... Kind of like with, uh, you know, not I'm not going into heavy spoilers here, but when Kamen Rider Build made his cameo uh, before his series, you know, it was the Build suit, but that wasn't uh, that wasn't Sento in the suit. That was the person who had the who was Build before Sento was Build. So it, it could be a situation like that with a little bit of. Um, you know, kind of the Common Rider Drive and Proto Drive flavor in there. You know, somebody who was in a similar role, slightly different suit before the main writer who's actually going to be in the series. But uh, I, I've spent too much time talking about this one rumor. Uh, moving on to like some of the newer, smaller rumors really quickly. Um, which uh, these, I, I don't know how believable they are. Uh, but one rumor talks about, you know, Revice's driver is called the Grand Beast Revice driver and that his link items are called Zaru stamps, which, I mean, it's entirely possible that someone just, you know, made this rumor up based on Joe's description. Uh, I think, I, I believe this rumor came out like well after Joe posted his description but uh, before the poster. And uh, th this other one I'm particularly skeptical of. Um, it, it basically just lists other writers' names. Uh, and, like, this is something that anybody can make up. Like, but the this one post says that other writers in Revice are going to be Orion, Kamui, Ouroboros, and Diaz. Uh, and Diaz, who specifically is said to be a dark rider, uh, and which all, I mean, all of those names do share a mythology theme, uh, except for Diaz, uh, Orion and Kamui. They are a constellation and a star, respectively. Which I mean, Diaz could kind of fit into that with it being the Spanish word for days, but that that's really stretching. Uh, it's still a bit out of place. But uh, that that's all the rumors that have come out so far. Um, now, I do have one last piece of speculation. And the, like this is just me thinking out loud. If the link items really are these stamps, and yeah, maybe they are too big to fit in the Gashapon capsules, but why could they not be taken apart in order to fit? And also, going by the Tandy... Can, ugh, excuse me candy toy listing why only four in the first quarter i mean that's such a low number so but I'm, I'm thinking back to the the hint about cards which going through all this other evidence is the only one we've kind of not hit which i mean like i said any one of them could be fake but any one of them could also be real but you know if cards as a link item, you, that is something that could not be put into a Gashapon capsule at all. You know, you can't, you can't make a card that's some assembly required. And with the candy toy listing, you know, it's one thing if, you know, it's some big thing like a Progress Key or a Wonder Ride uh, book, which I use the term big thing lo loosely. But, um, you know, if it's, uh, just a card that i mean that's pretty small and cheap but if it's a deck of cards then you know you could have who knows how many in one thing because you know the candy toy listing just saying there's four link items that really just means you know four boxes you know it, it, it could I, I could see it being card decks uh and you know, going back to the stamp-like thing, you know, maybe those 
are not the link items necessarily. Maybe the stamps are more similar to the to the emblems that we had with Saber this year. Uh, and I mean, they have, by Joe's description, they have a pretty wide base. Uh, I'd say you could probably there would be space to like maybe slot a card into the stamp to like make the image that the stamp leaves somehow and somehow that's is how the driver gets the different forms and everything or you know if de depending on how the transformations actually work um i'm kind of wondering if they if the forms are going to be more simple this year but um Yeah, again, that's all just speculation, though. Um, but yeah, ma main takeaway from this is, you know, this character on the poster here, it, it probably is Revice. B but at the same time, don't be shocked if it ends up that it's not. And then, like, the real Revice is actually, like, you know, basically this, but orange and green. Uh, there, there's a chance of that. Uh, and also, uh, comment on what animal you think the second guy here is. I I've seen a lot of drastically different suggestions on what he is, and that's assuming he's an animal at all. Uh, I mean, we don't know 100% for certain that all of the Revis Riders are going to be dinosaurs or even animals. Okay, so big news update as I was uh, editing this video and putting the finishing touches on it. But, um, yeah, so a, uh, it looks like a sticker sheet has came out for Common Rider Revice with the two riders from the poster and the second rider in a different form that matches the description of the second rider that Joe talked about with the, you know, the T-Rex, with the lifelike T-Rex helmet. And also, the colors on this Revice uh, look, I mean, they're similar, but it's also pretty different from what's on the poster. Like, the, the poster, it's very bright pink and blue, uh, and this Revice in the sticker is, like, more of a faded kind of, I guess, peach color, and uh, kind of teal green, really. And, uh... You know, likewise, based on the description that Joe gave, this other rider, mostly black suit, some, I mean, it's not really orange, it's, it's still, I still see pink, although I could kind of see, like, if you just saw this quickly, you could maybe go, oh yeah, that's orange. Like, it's, it seems like a between shade of, like, pink and orange, almost. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, the colors are different enough from what's on the poster that I'm kind of looking at this like, hmm... So, uh, you know, at this point, who's to say what Revice's real colors are going to be? But, yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty definitive confirmation, though, that this is Revice. Uh, and, like I said, this the, the black and pink or orange or whatever uh, rider here, you know, look at the face inside the mouth. You, he has the blue eyes, which... I mean, again, if you were glancing at it quickly to, you know, take up for Joe, I could maybe see mistaking that for green if you were just seeing it quickly. But, um, but more than that, like, just look at, like, the white lines around the face. Like, that that's very clearly the same uh, secondary rider from the poster. So, to that extent, ignore everything I said a little bit ago about um, it being more likely that it's a summoned creature. You know, this, because now both Revice and the secondary, they are both on the poster. They are both being presented as being equally important, it seems. Um, now that doesn't necessarily take away from the, you know, it's possibly uh, a Master and Butler situation. Because, I mean, surely... Revice is Revice. He's the title character. He's going to be more important. Um, but, I mean, we'll see how it plays out, and we'll see how the series treats both of them. But, yeah, so, f file these two being, you know, 
Revice and the secondary writer, or maybe the second primary writer? Uh, you know, f file that in the confirmed column. Uh, now, uh, we do have also another rumor that has came out in the time since I recorded the first part of this. And it is a supposed DX toy listing. Um, now, uh, like I say, it's usually when we get toy listings, it, it they are usually confirmed pretty quickly. Um, so we'll see. But I, I don't know, I'm kind of I'm kind of skeptical of this one, but we'll see. Um, now it, it, it again talks about the Great Beast Revice Driver, and then it also talks about the Yokuru uh, Shomeken, uh, which pardon if I uh, butcher some pronunciations here, but that that basically translates to uh, Terrasaur Illumination Sword, and then uh, DX Terrasaur. So basically, a pterodactyl themed sword, uh, and then there is a D. Look, excuse me. <clears throat> I was trying to, I was trying to read too many things at once. Uh, DX Rider Stamp uh, Dicey, or at least that's how it's being translated into English. It's actually, um, by the looks of it, it might be like. Stamp and Dicey are supposed to be one word, like Stamp Daichi or something. Uh, I, I've tried I've tried searching what it may actually mean, and the best I've found is like a sticker sheet, uh, but that was, which that kind of relates to the stamp thing, but it was, um, it was autocorrecting to the word Daiso instead of Daichi, which I understand Daiso means large, but, um, and then it's, but, uh, I'm pretty sure this is like the gimmick item holder, uh, and it says that that actually comes with the, uh, Kamen Rider Zero One, uh, Zaru stamp, which again, it's calling the link items Zaru stamps, like that, uh, older rumor, and then it gets into, like, some figures, um, Kamen Rider Revice, uh, and it's, uh, specifically it says that his form is called, uh, Terra Anosaurus. Like, like it's, like that, like Tyrannosaurus, but with the silent P on the front from Pterodactyl. Uh, and it's basically saying that his animal motif is actually a hybrid of a T-Rex and a Pterodactyl. Which, I mean, I don't know. Uh, looking at the the pictures of him we have so far. I mean, I could kind of see the the pinkish part, the v, pinkish V part on the helmet. You know, maybe if you're looking at just that, that's where the pterodactyl is. Uh, but, I mean, that, that might be stretching. Uh, well, I, I say pterodactyl. It actually, it actually doesn't say pterodactyl specifically. It says pterosaur or pterodon, um, but depending on how it's translated. But, Anyway, back on topic, uh, and then in the other figures it has listed are, um, it says Kamen Rider Megalo and Kamen Rider Tops, which, um, you know, people are looking at as kind of more dinosaur-themed riders, like Megalo could be short for Megalosaur, Megalodon, and then Tops could be, uh, referring to, like, the, the Ceratops and family of dinosaurs, like Triceratops and all that. Um, I don't know with the, with this toy listing rumor, I, I'm really skeptical of this one because uh, with Saber's uh, first quarter DX toy listing, we did not get names like this. We got like vague descriptors, like um, you know, for uh, um, for the sword driver, you know, all we got was. You know, like, uh, I think it was just, he either said, like, main rider driver or driver number one or something like that. Or, and, um, or, or it may have said, like, rider one, two, and three driver. Uh, and then for, like, the caliber driver, it said, like, you know, rider seven driver. Um, or for, um... For like the emblem sets that came with um, Blades' uh, book, 
it said like um link link item emblem set you know water lion like you know it it, it was pretty vague but had like just enough details to like sink your teeth into but uh and you know and this this just giving us like official names of stuff or like supposed official names of stuff that that really um is a red flag for me uh, unless they've just kind of reverted back to the old ways of doing things but I've gone on long enough about this, and uh, that, I believe, is all the information that is out now. Uh, I'm sure by the time that I'm done uploading this video, something, some other big news is probably going to break. But um, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you want to, if you want me to see, if you want to see me do more videos like this, um, please, you know, share this around, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, it, it'll really, that'll really, you know, show me that you want more content like this and want me to do more things with my YouTube. But, uh, y'all have a good day now.